Okay, hello, hello, my friends. <laughs> yes. I don't know how I did that. I went and pressed the button to switch the camera around, and guess what I did? I pressed the finish button. <laughs> Whoops. Yes, we all make mistakes, right? Well, that was my boo-boo for today. So I am back uh, with uh, the rest of my Facebook Live for today. All the fun hasn't even started, right? So I'll uh, give people just a second to join back in. So thank you. Thank you for finding me. Probably going to take you a minute to find me. Um, so let's see. While we're doing that, let's face the camera down. And I'm going to do this right this time. <laughs> um, Yay, I see people joining in. Hi, Gail. Hi, Vicki. Um, so again, I am talking about my Adhesive Essential Pack um, with, that comes with a free class PDF worth $20, and the adhesives are discounted. So just going to pick up where I left off. Oh my goodness, so much better. actually faced the camera um, the way it's supposed to go instead of turning the camera off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yay, you made it. You found me, Sharon. Um, hopefully others are going to find me again too. So comment and uh, yeah, let me know you're out there and that you refound me. Um, so glad. Okay, so these are the basic things going on today. I've got my host code, my web address, where to find me online. Um, the Adhesives Essential uh, Pack is what I'm talking about now. I've extended the deadline to September 29th. So I have until the 30th of September to reach my incentive trip goal. Um, but uh, and it, uh, the deadline was a few days before this. So I've extended it a little bit. Now I've got two hashtags I'm going to invite you to use today. You might want to make a note of them and I'm going to explain what they are for shortly. So hashtag adhesives pouch is one of them and hashtag yes vellum. Like what is she talking about? I promise I'll explain it to you. Hi Sue, good to see you here. Hi Nancy. All right, so um, you should also know the Lights Go PDF instant download is available now. Um, the class deadline for getting a kit ended over the weekend, uh, so that is closed. You can't get a kit, but you can buy the PDF instant download. If you get my newsletter, there's a link in the um, newsletter, so right there. And I wrote this in here so I would remember, share this video, tag people that you um, want to have the wonderful content that I'm sharing, follow and like. Um, so whether you're on um, Facebook or YouTube watching the live or the replay, please do that. I would so appreciate it. Okay, so um, here's what I'm going to show you, the Adhesive Essential Pack. So last week, I showed you the naked version. So I have this cute little canvas pouch, okay? And it's got some good, lovely contents inside. I'm going to actually take the contents out, and then I'm going to show you the decorated one. And you, of course, can decorate it. Um, uh, but I'm going to show you what I did. So these multi-purpose liquid glue, you guys know I love this glue, a pack of um, dimensionals, use those all the time, uh, a half a pack of foam adhesive sheets, little trial. Now last week we did a project with foam adhesive sheets. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, glue dots, which um, I also used in the Creative Play with Adhesives Technique class. We've got a glare in here. Let's see if I can make that go away. Um, and then you're going to get a roll of tear and tape. Also use that in the class. And then you're going to get some of the, it's a third of a pack of the adhesive sheets. These are really fun. Use these in the class as well. Now at the end, I'm going to actually show you the projects that we made. Just a quick little sneak peek of them. So you got five different adhesives in there. Now this is, like I said, the naked pouch. Let me show you what I did to, to decorate mine. So this is what I did. I just wanted to add a little bit of color to it, um, front and back, right? And then I did it in a coordinating color that would go with the zipper color. <laughs> oh, you love the projects in Light Sick Glow? I'm so glad, Kathy, so, so glad. And then I made this cute little tag, and this is also made with canvas. Isn't that cool? Get crafty. How, how does it get better than that? So everybody who buys the adhesive central pack, it's not going to come with the color on here. You can decorate it if you want, but it will come with a cute little tag that's decorated like this one, canvas tag. All right, so that is the adhesive central pack. So now my question to you, and this was one of the hashtags that I shared just a second ago. Bring that back in. The um, 
hashtag adhesives pouch. So I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to ask for your help. Um, if I get 20 people who buy the adhesives essential pack, again, it's $30, 15% discount on the adhesives, $5 in shipping, plus the free $20 class. Um, I will do a, um, a video um, of showing how to make and decorate both the tag and the pouch. So that's my challenge to you. So if um, you want to see me do that video, uh, buy the adhesives pouch, the adhesives essentials pack, share this with friends, um, and use the hashtag right there, adhes hashtag adhesives pouch, to let me know that you really want me to do that video, okay? So all those things. So that's the one hashtag. Okay, so let's get started with today's project. So I am doing um, a project that is fall themed. I'm using the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. Beautiful fall colors in there. Now this was the theme for the, what month are we in? September, um, Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. And this is actually the project that I created. So we're making, um, basically decorating our designer series paper here tonight. So this is the card. Decorated it a little bit in the inside. Love that glittery tape. Um, and we're gonna start with a piece of designer paper. So this is one of the designer papers in here, right? It doesn't come like this. It comes straight up black and white. Where is it? Um, I think it's that one right there. So love leaves, you guys know, I love leaves. I'm in a tree house, you know, not, not, not technically in a tree house, but my stamping tree house. And a lot of the patterns are here on the back side, the B side are black and white. So it gives you the opportunity to play and create. Um, we got one that stripes. What else? That pattern there. I know I'm just giving you a little snippet of a, of a look, but one of the things I love about black and white papers is that you can color them. It's so much fun. So I have gotten myself started here because uh, coloring can take a long time. And, um, so I wanted to give myself a jump start. Now on this one, you can see I've got a lot of detail in there, multiple colors on some of the leaves and some shading. So that's what I'm gonna get started doing. Now, I have added another color to this, um, uh, to the one I'm doing right in front of you. So, and all that I have done here is single layer. So the light, I've used light daffodil delight here light old olive, which I did not use on this version. I wanted to bring in another green and some lighter greens um, just to give it a little bit of variation. And then this is um, Cajun Craze, also the light Cajun Craze. So you can see it's pretty, right? It's definitely pretty, but there isn't the dimension that you get from the blending with the blending brush. So I just gave myself a start on this. So, um, now I'm also using uh, Mossy Meadow, again, Daffodil Delight, and my Cajun Craze. So those are all my colors. And I think I've done all my Cajun Craze, but I might bring some of that in in just a bit. So let's start with doing some of our light Mossy Meadow on these bigger leaves. Now, one of the things I love about coloring on paper that's black and white is you do not need to worry about going outside the lines. <laughs> and I kind of love that, right? Because you can just kind of be messy. Now, I'm not intentionally going outside the lines, but if I do, it's really not going to show. At least that's true for me. So I'm going to go over this with just the light. And actually, I'm going to leave some some areas not completely colored in. Now I always tell people I am not a coloring expert. I don't even think I'm very good at it, <laughs> just saying. Um, but blends, alcohol markers make me feel like I am because I always love the results. And so they're my favorite, favorite coloring tool. So um, I'm just going in and actually I don't wanna be coloring all the way to the ends. I'm going real. 
Mary Beth, I saw Mary Beth, you commented and said you will buy an adhesive essential pack. Aren't you amazing? You're awesome. Thank you. You were awesome before that, but you're even more awesome now. I don't know if I told you this in past in another Facebook Live, but Mary Beth and I actually met at backstage in New Orleans, and we actually roomed together. And we had never met before. <laughs> so much fun. Okay, so I'm really just doing all of these big leaves. And Mary Beth is also my partner in crime for the creative extravaganza that we're doing in Arlington, Texas. If you're a demonstrator and you know anybody that's going to the onstage event in Arlington, Texas, spread the word. It's going to be amazing. I have been playing with some ideas for the projects. I'm still sorting them out, um, but I have been having a blast and I, I just, it's gonna be a day of so much creative fun. I can't even begin to tell you. So maybe one of these days I'll show Mary Beth, I'll give her a sneak peek since she's my partner in crime on this. Event. Okay, so now I'm just coming in with my dark mossy meadow for a little bit of um, adding some dark elements. And I'm really just going over the spine of these leaves. Not exactly on the lines, because I'm just being very, you know, organic about the leaf spine shapes. Okay. So again, all the other leaves have just one layer of color. This is now the only one that has some dark in it, the dark mossy meadow. So you can sort of see where I am with that. We did have a great time, Mary, Mary Beth. <laughs> Cutting off my own sentence there. Um, it was so much fun. A great treat to meet you and spend time with you. Okay, now, we haven't done this one yet. Let's do this one. So I'll tell you, one of the things that I generally have, and I'm gonna leave that one as is so we can compare it um, once we have some of the other ones done. Oh, jeez, okay, hold on. I'm having a technical difficulty over here. Oh, shoot, you have to. Okay, there we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that one without any dark shading in it, just so that we can kind of see the difference once I'm done with the other ones. So now I'm coming back in with some, some more light. Okay, now stop doing that, Melissa, because I have something else in mind. Okay, so... What I want to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to the tips. Kind of like, you know, in nature, how the leaves just kind of slowly change, like it starts at the tip and then the color of the whole leaf eventually changes from a green to a yellow or a brown or a red or whatever it is. So I'm bringing some yellow into that. I forgot to leave some yellow on that tip, but you know what? It wouldn't be even in nature anyway, would it? I don't think so. Hi, Sharon. Good to see you here from Idaho. Okay, let's come in and do this one. Maybe I'll just bring it up every once in a while so you guys can see where I'm going with this. I just love how it just looks sort of, I don't know, it's, it's so, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I love it, but I do. Okay, so I'm going to come in and do some of the same thing on my other large maple leaves. And again, just don't have to be very careful about this again, because I'm not worried about going outside the lines too much. So I, I think I may have mentioned earlier, although you might not have heard me say, 
that I am going to do something. I'm going to show you something from last week. Kind of bring together the blends and the adhesives theme after I'm done with this project. All right, so I'm liking where this is going. So now these ones here are old olive, just the light old olive. So I'm going to bring some dark old olive into those give them a little bit more depth and I'm really liking having the second shade of green in the mix so how many of you guys were here last week and saw the project I did with um, the lights aglow and adhesives. Just kind of curious. I don't usually tie what I'm doing from one week to the next together, but this week I thought it would be fun to do it. So this is what we made last week. I used the foam adhesive sheet to do this piece. This is the negative space. And oh, I should also say, we use gilded leafing on this and it is on sale today this this week this week's one of the this week's weekly deals so if you really are enamored with uh, gilded leafing like i am or don't have it yet you definitely should go get it now because it's on sale because we love a sale right okay so doesn't that look pretty with the added um detail in there i think it's really pretty okay so now i'm going to come in with my light old olive and just kind of blend those, blur those lines just a little bit. So this designer paper is interesting because I was comparing this piece to the piece that I made the original card with, and there's some leaves on, on the, this piece that are not even on the original piece. So I'm gonna just show you for a second. So notice we've got this like ginkgo leaf, right? But this leaf is completely new. So I, I actually haven't tried coloring that one. So I'm gonna do that one in a different way from any of what I did here. Um, I've sort of saved it for last just for fun. And I'm gonna actually do some of the Cajun craze and some yellow. So this is the light uh, Cajun craze. And I'm just going to do some of the light. And then I'm gonna do yellow at the end, the daffodil. Now the color um, scheme on this card is actually this one. This designer paper is crushed curry, but it's, um, we don't have a blends that's crushed curry. I don't think we do, or at least I don't own it. Um, so I had to use what I had to tie the colors together. So now I got my dark here. So since I haven't colored this leaf before, kind of just experimenting with the look. Bring it up to the camera. I don't want it to look like a solid line or anything. Let's see how we feel about that. I think I need might need my blending brush to kind of blend the edges a little bit. What do we think of that? I don't know. I'm not sure how much I love it. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I'll try one that's more yellow. Somehow it looks like a, a uh, an aspen leaf in the fall. You know that, oh, I just did the, the dark. Okay, so that's the dark. I'm gonna bring some dark into my ginkgo. You guys commenting? Oh, you like that? You like that leaf? 
Sometimes it just takes a while to, when I'm looking at something to decide if I like it or not. Like my eye has to just get used to it. Although sometimes they're thing, it's instant. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and do this last one in the yellow. I might bring some Cajun craze in it just because I got Cajun craze in the other one, so it's like has to. That's just the light. The light and the dark. I like the light and the dark together. Maybe I'll do this one with a little bit of Cajun craze on the tip. Oh, I don't know. Why do I feel like I should do it the same way? Kathleen is here with us again. Hi, Kathleen. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I'm just doing it the same way. Light, or maybe that's, maybe that's the trick. Do a little bit. Play, 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 right? This is the fun. Maybe by the time I do the third one, I'll like it the best. Like it best. Dropping my lids everywhere. All right, what next, what next, what next? More yellow. And got my color lifter. Blend those colors together. I think I like it with more yellow showing on the edge. What do you guys think? You like how I how I highlighted the viewing? Tell me what that means. I'm not sure I understand. Do you mean bringing it up to the camera? I'm watching for you for your response, Mary Beth. You like the yellow, Elizabeth? I love it how you guys share with me while I'm showing. Oh, veining, veining. Oh, there you go. That makes more sense. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so I keep changing colors. I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm changing to. Now I'm using the, the light. Uh, Cajun craze. So, as you can probably tell, with this kind of coloring, you can spend a lot of time, and I thought it earlier, but I don't think that came out of my mouth. <laughs> That's one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons why I typically haven't liked coloring, because it takes so much time, but it makes a big difference when you really like the end result. If you like the end result, then it's worth it. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Let's, let's take a quick look at this close up, see what we think. Okay, so first of all, that one is all just the light mossy meadow. We never added any more veining to it, so that definitely needs a little veining. I love the yellow around the edges of those, and I love those old olive leaves. I think they look beautiful. You like the yellow? Yes, I think it's a ginkgo leaf. I think so. Um, oh, I'm glad you love how the, the great leaves look, uh, Deb. Wonderful. Okay, let's just do a little bit more veining on this. Um, now that I'm, I've got that word in my head, veining. Thank you, Mary Beth. Because <laughs> I think it really adds a lot. Not necessarily going exactly with the lines on the leaf, but 
um, cause I'm being a little bit, just kind of haphazard about it all, but it's okay. Oop, now this is the light mossy meadow. And I'm really just trying to soften the vein lines. Let's bring in our little color lifter for some of that too. Whenever I see too much, too many lines and not enough blending, you bring in the blending brush. That's why it's called that. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna call this done. Let's get these set aside. Oop. Still got some lids off. So many blends alcohol markers. Love it. Okay, so there's where we are. Okay, let's put this baby together. Okay, so we've got a piece of Cajun craze that's dry embossed with the, here we go, Timber 3D embossing folder. Love this embossing folder. If you don't have it, it's a must have. And uh, we got a black card base. And this layer's gonna start, it's gonna be the first thing we put on. Got adhesive on the back. I love black, so dramatic. Now this is the back side of my Cajun Craze piece and I love that pattern. I love this one too. I thought it would be fun to color that one too, but very, very detailed. All right. Oop. All right, now, I've got my base piece for my focal piece. The focal piece has adhesive on the back also. Now I am a fall colors lover. I love all colors. I love purple, I love all kinds of colors, but my house is decorated in fall colors. In fact, my kitchen is a green, something between this and old olive. <laughs> my bedroom is sort of a brownish, well, no, my dining room is sort of a rusty color with a, um, a glazed, like, marbly finish. It's so pretty. Uh, and then there's definitely some yellows in there, too. <laughs> Getting a little home decor in there. Okay, so I have, um, I want to have my focal piece popped up, but not as high as dimensionals would um, would do. So I've got this new thing that I keep doing where I take just a scrap piece of cardstock and I layer them up on the back side of my focal piece. And it gives me, I can adjust my, uh, the dimension, the amount of dimension, how popped up it is um, with a little bit more, shall we use the word discernment? <laughs> So now this piece has adhesive on both sides. One to attach to what's here. So now I got three layers of the black there. You can see it doesn't go the full length, that's fine. You know, it's just intended to pop it up, but it's a nice solid surface, but not as thick as foam adhesive sheets, which are pretty thick. So now I have to decide which way I want it. Right side up, upside down. I think that's right side up in my mind. Okay. I am justifying it a little bit to the right because I wanna have room on my spine for some twine. I've got some of the Simply Elegant trim. This comes in a pack with silver and gold. I seem to always be grabbing the gold. And I'm just going to tie a knot in the upper right-hand corner. It's kind of all twisted. 
Coming to the end of this roll. Okay, Jan, I missed your comment. I saw a comment flash by. Now I missed it. <laughs> Concentrating on what I'm doing here. Okay, so I want to move this because I don't want the tie right there and I want it moved in a little bit. So I just kind of bow my paper just a little bit so that I can easily move that up to where I want it to be. Twisting a little bit. And it needs to be on the other side. Okay. And then I'm just going to snip it off. Now I don't want these the tail to be too long. I like them to be just just a little little bit. So there we go. That one looks a little longer. Okay. So there's. There's my card. Now on this one, I frayed the ends a little bit, which I really like to do. Now I, pu I probably pulled the filament out of this one and I did not pull it out of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and fray the ends, but you'll see that you might be able to see that there's a little filament in there. Not super noticeable, but you can see I'm just using my fingernails, what fingernails I have to fray the ends. And I can see that filament in there. Probably gonna bother me, but what the heck? I'm done. <laughs> it's already attached. Siobhan is here. Hi, Siobhan. Good to see you. It's been so long since since um, well, since I saw you. <laughs> okay. Now we got a few other little touches here. I'm gonna use some of this lovely glitter uh, washi tape. My green to sort of underline my sentiment. So let's do this. We're going to just find the end to start with. So I don't know, you know, it, it, Facebook tells you when somebody's watching, it says Siobhan's watching. And sometimes I wonder if I say something, oh, so-and-so's watching, hi. And it's like, do they even realize that I can see that they're watching? <laughs> Of a funny thought. So hopefully people don't mind if I say a hello. Okay, so let's do this. Now I have adhesive on the back side of my um, heat embossed sentiment. I did heat emboss it off camera um, in gold. And the stamp set I used for that is the Quiet Meadow set. I just love that thinking of you sentiment. It's just, I don't know. So I like the font, I like the size, I like the sentiment. <laughs> I love this set, but that's such a useful one. Pull that in for this project. Okay, so I've got my liquid glue on there. And I'm doing that because the um, this tape is like glitter, right? And most glues don't want to stick to stuff that's glittery and textured. So... I'm using a little multi-purpose liquid glue to make sure it stays on there. Now it's hanging off the edges a little bit. I'm going to trim those off. But while I set, I'm going to set that aside to dry just a second. And now I need some embellishments. So on this one, I used, um, what are they called? Uh, iridescent, iridescent rhinestones. That's what they're called, iridescent rhinestones. And I colored them with my Mossy Meadow Blends alcohol marker. But when you look at it in certain light, it looks blue. Or you probably can't see it on camera. I don't know, maybe you can. Um, but uh, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. So you, you like the, the highlighting? You love the yellow leaf matching the, the, the spine? Yes, yes, I do too. I love how the colors all kind of tie together. Okay, so, well, there's two other things I just realized. Okay, so I pulled out some other embellishments. I've got my rustic metallic adhesive back dots, you know, got that earthy look. I've got these ones, which I love, the Leaf Label Amber Gems. Um, and I like the color with that, very shiny and sparkly. And then I have these ones, my Genial Gems, which I thought might be fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of each, 
put them on my card, let you guys look at it. I even thought these might be kind of nice because of the rusty look. So let's just do that. Let's just put a few out. So that's the this color. We'll take one of the small, this is supposed to be, what color is this? I think it's mint macaron maybe. This color in here. We'll try this one over here so that this kind of disappears a little bit in the mix because it's because they're kind of clear, but they have a little sparkly look to them. And I'm not gonna leave it with these different colors in here. I just wanna let you guys see and let me see how they each look on there. And then there's always the finding the right spot for, for the little gem. Well, I think I know which way I'm leaning. And notice I didn't even put one of these out because don't think it's going to be the one that I like. Although, yeah, maybe. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, yes. Um, so I'm going to take the this green one off because it just kind of gets lost. And I think this one does too. So that's these guys, the genial gems. I love these gems, but I just think it gets lost on my black. And I do love I love the amber one. Definitely love the amber one. I'm with you, Kathleen, on that one. Okay, so let's see how this one looks. Now, I think these are okay, the rustic metallic, but genial gems, they went out. Gotta do, I'm sorry, not the genial gems. Yeah, that's what they're called, genial gems. They're just so sparkly and pretty. Gotta do it. So let's see about our placement. Maybe I'm gonna do a big one down here at the bottom. Let's see how that looks. Yes, MJ, you agree on the the uh, the amber? They're so pretty. Oh no, I just realized the sentiment has to go down there. Can't get in the way of the sentiment. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put a big one in the bottom. But let's see how we're doing with this. A little bit of glue on there. I think that's okay. Let's just trim off the rest of the the edge of the washi tape. And so I've got the washi on the bottom and the adhesive on the back of the top. Elizabeth, you like the amber too? I know, it's just so pretty. Okay. And it's going to hang off the edge just a little bit. Oh, and I love that touch of green um, washi tape. Glimmery washi tape, it's so pretty. Hmm. 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 I think I need it down there. Something about it feels right down there. I don't know, maybe I'll move them around later, but that's where I am now. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that's actually too, it's too much one under the other. See, they're like right under the other, can't do that. Doesn't look right. I think I can do that. All right, there we go. Let's look at these two side by side. I really like the added old olive just for the variation in the greens. It lightens it up a bunch. Um, this one is pretty dark and I love the amber gems as a very variation. You guys too? <laughs> I hope so. I love it. Yay. Love those fall colors in my fall card. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to show you one more thing. <laughs> so, last week, um, one of the things I did was, well, we used um, liquid glue, multi-purpose liquid glue, and our... Um, gilded leafing in the background, right? So one of the things I mentioned when we were talking was wouldn't it be fun to do it in white heat embossing? So do the white glue smushed on there and then do white and do more like snowflake, right? Well, so I had to play with that on a piece of paper and I did that and then I decided, well, let's take some blends alcohol markers and draw them over the top and I came up with this big mess. <laughs> big mess, you know, do I like it? No. So anyway, but same color scheme, but you know, just a kind of a fun experiment. 
And then I had another brainstorm. What if I did the same thing with vellum and I did my smooshy, you know, glue with the, um, white heat embossing over the top and then used my blends on it. So I played around with that. And um, let's see how my time is here. I wanna keep you guys too late. Okay, I've already been on for 40 minutes. Okay, so this was uh, step one, right? So I did the heat embossing right on there. And then I played around with several different blends alcohol markers. And this was the end result after I played. So if you see it on white, you can really see better how it looks. So now my question to you is, who wants to see what I make with this beautiful thing? <laughs> I think it's pretty beautiful. Add a little of the Tahitian Tide in back there. I think that's really, really pretty. Okay, so... Yes, hashtag yes vellum. <laughs> so I'm thinking that I was thinking maybe I would just make something and show you guys next week. If you want to see it, use the hashtag yes vellum if you want to see it. Or maybe I just need to demonstrate how I made this thing. You know the first half, right? Which is what we did last week in last week's Facebook Live. But do you want to see how I did it and the, a finished card? Okay. Give me your comments. Hashtag yes vellum if you want to see that. I don't want to spend time demonstrating it tonight because it's already getting a little bit kind of late. Um, but I do want to show you a couple other things and do a little recap. So, um, again, I've got my essential, uh, adhesive essentials pack and I've got my challenge out to you guys to help me get to 20 uh, adhesive essential pack sold. And if I do, I'm going to show how... I decorated my pouch, which started out as my naked plain white pouch. Now, um, the pouches that I have have different colored zippers. So these two were yellow, but then there's two that are pink and two that are turquoise and you know all the different colors, right? Um, so if you want to um, do that, anyway, help me meet that challenge of 20 and I will demonstrate how I made that pouch and the cute tag, which actually I love this tag. If you buy the adhesive essential pack, you're gonna get a tag. I'm gonna make a tag for everybody because I think they're just so cute. Even if you left it white, doesn't it look good with just the white? So pretty, right? All right, so um, there's that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, goodness, okay. Looking at my notes. So we got the we got that. The deadline is, is the 29th, which I think is next Thursday. Yes, that's a week from today. That's going to be my next Facebook Live. And then you got the two hashtags. If you want to see the adhesives pouch, and you got to buy it, and then, you know, you can do the hashtag. Let me know you want to see it. The yes to the vellum card. Anyway, the other stuff, right? Share, tag, follow, like, all that good stuff. Okay, let me turn the camera around. <laughs> And, oh yeah, before I turn the camera around, I'm going to show you the projects that we made. Well, some, most of them we made. One of them was a bonus project in the Creative Play with Adhesives Technique class, just so you guys can see what you're going to get. The, um, that's one of them. And um, the class tutorial PDF is 29 pages long. I am very thorough, if I am anything. <laughs> um, very detail-oriented sort of gal. So um, the PDFs are really quite... Um, involved when I do my technique class PDFs. Love this one. Absolutely. So now this one was done. Um, let's see, I should say, for all of these projects, I used uh, tear and tape. I used adhesive sheets. I used glue dots. There's the next one. So if you want to learn how to make any of these projects, definitely you want to buy my adhesive essential pack. Getting it free. <laughs> so now this one was a bonus project. I did talk about it have a little bit of detail in the PDF, but I may not have all the detail to make that one. How close am I? I'm not as close as I want to be. And I'm, I'm, I, I like, I'm, here's my, um, my thermometer. So I've made a lot of progress since way back in the, towards the end of August, but I'm still only 79% uh, towards my goal. So, um, this last week was a big one. <laughs> I made a lot of progress in this last week. 
but um, yeah, I've got a ways to go. So there's my my little thermometer. I put this in my newsletter. I've been putting it in my newsletter each week. So I really only have, I think like, oh, I don't know, eight or nine days left. So I am just, but I can't give up. Just got to keep working at it. So those are my little sneak peeks. So I'm just going to turn the camera around for just a quick little uh, few finishing remarks and let you guys be on your merry way. Hello, it's me. I'm back. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, but now my face is back. Um, alrighty, so I'm glad you guys see some people commenting with the hashtag, so yay. Um, and uh, I should say that, um, I don't know, I'm trying not to give up <laughs> on my um, my um, my goal for the incentive trip. So I'm not going to give up till the very end. Um, I have an interim goal that's um, something that Stampin' Up! recognizes us for that I think I will reach. I'm at about, I'm about 1,300 or so points away from reaching that goal. That one's my more realistic goal at this point. Um, but I, I, there are, there's still the possibility that I could earn the other if um, a few things happen. So um, anyway, just saying. <laughs> trying to still stay positive on this. All right. So what else? So I've told you all the things, I think. Um, and I guess the last reminders are uh, this, uh, there will be a blog post with tonight's project up on Saturday, and it will go live on YouTube on Saturday as well, the video. Um, I will go live next Thursday, the 29th. Yes, every week in September, I've managed to do it and I haven't, um, I haven't um, died. <laughs> with too much work, I'm still managing to do it. Um, so I will be going live next week with a project. Um, and uh, just make sure to tag, you know, like, follow, share uh, this video. We so much appreciate it. And uh, any help um, you can provide to help me get to my goal, I would love it. And you will get some great value um, by doing it when you participate in any of the things that I'm offering. Um, and I do actually have uh, one other quick thing. Um, put it in my newsletter. I have faux, the faux leather class is coming up in October. Um, and in the next few days, maybe early next week, I'm gonna have details about that class. That will be another way to, um, to engage with me and um, play along, help me get to my goal um, and get a great class. It's going to be an amazing class. I've already created uh, like 99% done with finishing the projects and they are super, super cool. So um, I hope you'll um, join in for that. So watch for details about that coming soon. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Stay crafty, have fun, play, create. I hope you're inspired. Um, and uh, thanks for joining me and thanks for supporting me and my goal too and letting me talk about it. <laughs> All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend, too. Happy crafting. Mwah. Bye.